Shalom. Uh, this is the brother Yawanathan from the Great Millstone West Palm Camp. Before I begin, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, and Chakwadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this word we call God. Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word we call Jesus. Bahasham is in the name of Chakwadash, it's through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, you know, and just coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah, and first and foremost, a all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shemal Shah, you know, the water Yahweh Shemal Shah for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, pursuing the Isaiah the 33rd chapter, and the sixth verse is going to be the stability of our times, you know, the Lord giving us this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding it is a, it, it is a, it is a big blessing. All right, because like how it says in Isaiah the 60th chapter, it says how there's gross darkness upon the planet Earth, gross darkness to people. And but the Lord has given us his Rakhakwadash, his Holy Spirit. All right, and it's going to give us stability in these latter times, man. All right, while the, while the rest of this world is literally going to be unstable, all right, in shambles, we're going to have stability in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and I just wanted to bring out this quick uh, exhortation. You know, and you know, it's a anomaly, right? The word anom uh, I have trouble pronouncing that word. Let's anomaly. See. Anomaly. Okay, and it says something that deviates from what is the standard, normal, or expected. Okay, and, and the men of Yahweh Bashimal Shah are the an anomalies of society. Okay, we are the thing that is set, like it says a. Uh, something that deviates from what is the standard normal or expected okay we're coming in the spirit of yahweh bashamal shah we're coming in the spirit of yahweh shah all right yahweh shah already with us that you know like it says that we are not of this world just like our lord was not a, par a part of this world man and we're a spectacle okay and hey what does that spectacle spectacle mean man all right meaning that you know it's something hey that's different all right something that you know people look at as you know odd you know and that's what we are through the spirit and prayer by Shema Shah. a lot of these people you know see our spirit is not in cahoots with this world man that's why you know if you go around or if you're around certain people they'll just be like hey something is different about you or Hey, what's wrong? Why you always look like this? Or, you know, uh, you, you know, you stand out. There's a mystery about you. All right, and it's the hey, that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, but it's also this knowledge. All right, so we're the anom uh, anomalies of this society. Okay, and this is why you know, it ain't get out that spirit of trying to fit in. All right, Yahweh Bashmal Shah has given us all right, hey, the spirit to stand out. All right, to be apart, to be set apart, to be different, okay, from hey, this society, all right, to be different from the norm, okay, to be set aside. And that's what Yahweh Shah is going to do with his elect. He's going to set his elect aside, all right, from the rest, you know, the two thirds of our people. And he's going to have ultimately what? Salvation and mercy upon them, man. All right, so the Lord has literally woken us apart, uh, uh, woken us from this world. He's woken us from that dead deep sleep state okay and he has literally changed us all right giving us the holy spirit to be renewed in our mind all right and to be different okay all right and this is really because you know it's like when you don't have the lineup you know when your beard ain't all lined up when your head is not all lined up you know this is you know a lot of people again being a, a, a skeptical a, a skeptical all right again being a uh, anomaly okay because that's the society norms okay what else when you don't fuck when you don't smoke weed okay when you're not going to clubs every weekend when you're not trying to do the things that a lot of of, of, of what people are doing a lot of people look at you weird like hey what's wrong with you okay when you're not in a conversation of adultery okay you know even if you may not want to <laughs> if you know abroad you know, you know, if a bra want to mess with you, but you like, man, this, this hey, this, this bra spirit, hey, it, it don't match with my spirit. You know, that woman will look at you weird, man. 
you know? Might mess around and even assume that you may be this. All right? So, hey, we're different. And that what makes us, you know, that what makes us great. All right? That what makes us, you know, stand out. That we're different. We're in a world where everybody wants to fit in. All right? But Yahweh Bashim al is allowing us to fit out, to stand out, man. All right? We don't want to stand in. We don't want to be the same as these people, man. We want to be different. All right? And with all humility and humbleness, you know, through the Holy Spirit, you know, and we better than the rest of these people, man. As long as we continue, all right, and from what we've been taught, all right. But it's not even something that I just want to keep rambling and rambling and rambling, man. The Lord has set us aside, man. The Lord has set us apart to be different, man. Okay. what you have watched my shot is doing with his elect man all right the lord is like the uh, <laughs> you have watched my shot like in his elect as his jewels man okay precious you see and the lord doesn't speak like that to everybody else man all right so hey, count yourself blessed if you have this wisdom and also understanding man count yourself okay you know grateful thankful okay get up uh, speaking to myself first and foremost and hey man i really don't care know brothers know <laughs> you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day i still groom you know i still uh pick out my beard maybe brush it down but as far as my hairline man i could really care less man you know and hey, we waiting on them new bodies man and even on a smaller scale all right for bro i don't want to mess with you because you don't got no lineup hey, to help with that man. that is a chicken brain like that man okay you know brothers know that <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so you know i step out again us being a skeptical i guess again us being an uh, anomaly you know you get to get strange looks man you get to get strange looks from men and you get strange looks from women like ah oh, this dude would look nice you know i even had a woman tell me once oh you would look so much nicer if you got a lineup you know you hear a woman say oh uh, my man needs to have a lineup, man. It's foolishness, man. All right? But that's why it says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22, and it says, for my for my people are foolish, okay? They are sodas children, okay? What does sodas mean? Sodas means stupid, all right? And that's the representation of our people, two-thirds of our people to be exact, man. All right? But the point I'm trying to make is that we're different, okay? And this is not the case for every brother, some brothers, hey, the Lord got it set up to where, hey, they head look nice. They don't even have to get no lineup, and they look, hey, they, they all right. But it may be different with certain brothers. Maybe a brother be bald. Maybe a brother beard don't go in all the way, don't connect all the way. All right, the point I'm trying to make, it's okay, all right, because the Lord has set us to be different. The Lord has set us to be the things that set, that is set apart from society. Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 okay and it says and they shall be mine said the lord of hosts what is he talking about that day is speaking about the his elect and it says in that day when i make up my jewels and i will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him you see so you how about shaman shah is going to have mercy upon his elect he likens them unto his jewels man okay he's speaking about his elect all right so just something that was on my spirit that I want to bring out, man. You know, a lot of our people are short vision or short minded. All right, they're nearsighted, but we're long, we're, we're far sighted, man. You know, we don't want to fit in to what this society has to stand for. This place is wicked, man. All right, so just a little something that was on my mind. Lord willing, those that are to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem. The honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, that rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. To the next time, I say shalom.
and the blah blah blah. Call me, I shall.